Well, folks, here is the system here, live from Minnesota, Woodbury. The system is asleep right now because the panels are no, uh, the sun is already passed. So I have um, four solar panels on this charge controller right here. The 40 amp uh, tracer. Those are four Kyoceras in there. Here is the disconnect from the inverter right here. The 1500 watt Kotec 24 volt pure sine wave inverter. It's inverting. That is the disconnect from the battery bank to the system. We got two outlets over there for powering small utilities if we doing something at a shop. There's a junction box, AC junction box. And uh, here, um, the panels, they're bringing 2.1 amps right now. Those are the Kyocera's uh, charging the battery bank here. Charging this battery bank. These 10 batteries, um, lead, sea lead acid, 24 volt system, right? And it's fused right there. And uh, the system is doing good. This is not my system. This is Tom's system. Remember, if you guys can go through the videos, my friend right here. So, this is system right here. This is the disconnect coming from the Kyocera panels. You can see right there, Kyoceras. Those are four Kyocera panels. This is the disconnect from the frontier solar array, which is the high voltage of 55.5 open socket. This has a disconnect right there. And it comes to the new machine right there. Oh boy, this is the SunTech. That's a SunTech right there. Remember I showed you guys the specs. Here are the specs, a thousand watts. This is a hybrid system I just built. A hybrid system. So pretty soon it's gonna change to 48 volt. I'm, I'm trying to make up something right now and Tom is just getting too much excited. I don't know, so I gotta tell him, I say, hey, you gotta be careful, don't be excited too much. So he's laughing and everything is working for him earlier. This thing was pumping power to the grid. It senses the grid right away, how much voltage is taken out and it compensates right away, fill it back. Solar panel back feeding right away back to the system, which is during the day. Um, during the day, um, it's not pulling anything. Anything that is over 220 volt uh, appliances, the stove, it's washing machine, whatever. Those are for the heavy duty thing. This guy is gonna handle that. So the Cotec is taking care of the. Uh, the refrigerators, the TVs, and all the other good stuff. All right. So this is the. We are sitting right now 85 percent, 87, 88 percent SOC battery SOC. This button right here is for 12 volt system, but I I have to convert the bulbs to 24 because we switched the battery from 12 to 24 volt system now, so I have to get LEDs at 24. So the system is looking awesome. The system is powerful and sophisticated. So I have to make some kind of little um, notes for Tom to know how to run this system. But anyway, just trying to reduce everything and make it really, really, really nice and dandy. So back to this 24 volt system Cooltech. If you guys remember, a 48 volt system, I have a similar one like that. So it's gonna come right here. That's gonna be a 48 volt system. This is the new, the new system. We keep on changing, we keep upgrading, folks. This is gonna be a very powerful house, sophisticated hybrid system. So it's gonna be now, instead of 24, it's gonna be a 48 volt system. 
Then instead of having the two solar array, I'm gonna join the two array. Do you hear that? That means we're saving power right now. The refrigerator freeze just went to sleep. So that's what they call a good system. This is an awesome system, you know. And we are not even done yet with the clean up the wires. I know you guys are gonna be talking about the wires. Don't worry about it. We're gonna put all these wires, but we are constantly working as my head is working and that's how we're changing so remember we started at 12 volts we went to 24 volts now we're going to 48 volt this is tom's system not my system right now okay so 48 volt inverter is going to be in there on this cool tech this is going to go bye bye and from there this is going to be a hybrid system and it's already hybrid okay it's hybrid already so what i'm going to do this system the hybrid instead of feeding solar panels here all the way to a disconnect all these two panels the frontier and the kio series gonna be one big panel eight of them this inverter is this is a inverter it's a grid tie it's a hybrid you can use the batteries into this so what I'm gonna do I'm taking the battery from the battery bank here it's powering from the battery bank from this I'm gonna configure these batteries here so I have 10 batteries so they're not gonna be enough for the 48 volt system I have to eliminate the two last ones over there and one two three four it's gonna be one battery bank one two three four one battery bank that makes it 48 volt so I'm going to have four batteries in series, four batteries in series, and from there, I go parallel, okay? So we increase in the voltage, and we increase in the runtime as well. This is what I'm doing right now. So um, it's going to be a new episode coming up, so t stay tuned, because I'm going to be feeding this guy here. I'll be feeding this guy here. 48 volt from the batteries because this system started at 45 from a 45 volt to 90 max the limit is a 45 so the solar rays already uh the voltage already passed uh uh is below 45 that's why the system is not working right now okay the system went to sleep it's like the day is over so tomorrow as soon as it senses the sun then this thing gonna kick in back all the way to um, past 48 volt, 45 volt. Then the system started running. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I take all the batteries there from that disconnect out. That instead, instead of going to that inverter, I'm gonna have this thing comes in here and charge it and just invert the power from the batteries as the charge controller. Is pouring all those amps and wattage in to the batteries and this guy is inverting from the batteries just like having uh, um, uh, um, you having um, having um, Outback system or Schneider whatever it is so having our back system is taken from the batteries inverted from this and feed the house as soon as the battery is already full, it, that's how Outback works, invert. It takes the battery to float mode. But this one is not going to go into float mode like uh, the way Outback is doing it. But I'm going to do it another way. So it's feeding from the 48 volt system. This is a 45, starting at 45 to 90 volt. So it's taking 48 system here, feeding the house while the, in, the charge controller is charging the batteries simultaneously. Okay? And from there it goes through there why I'm gonna put a 48 volt inverter this is the reason why so the inverter is gonna be there for time we have like bad weather or something because Tom don't want to go to different um, uh, gadget buttons and they get confused so it's gonna be a simple way so if the batteries are getting low at night because there is no solar anymore and Tom can able to switch back to a 48 volt system 
to power the house instead of inverting it to the house. So it had two ways of doing things. It depends what you want to do. So you want to power just little loads. That 48 volt is not going to be big like this, no, uh, 1500. It's going to be a 600. So it can power just little loads it can take off from the house instead of this guy to feed the entire house. Okay? This is how it's going to work. We already have the plan. I know you guys probably, if you guys confused, well, you are not just alone. But other people are going to be confused. But don't worry about it because I'm in charge. I can fix this. And this is what we want because when he's not home, he don't want to leave the Kotec over there at night running all the way and drain all the batteries and the refrigerator goes off, all the food's going to go bad. So, as of now, he's going to go on a little vacation, fishing season, so that's what he's doing. So instead of batteries just sitting there do nothing, and at night, nobody is going to be to change over. So, we leave the system here. The system is going to stay on this. Just keep on pumping the house, all the refrigerators, everything is going to go back to the grid. This device, is it has a limiter on it that helps the meter not to go backwards. These are new uh, devices. These are just the latest systems. So, I encourage you guys to check it out. Check it out because if you don't check this thing out and well you have a system like this, I'll encourage you to go. This is a thousand watts. See that? So this system is gonna work and it has been working and it has been saving money every day, every night. So here comes this one. Uh, I just installed this one temporarily, which is, um, this wire is going to be fixed well. We just testing it earlier. And uh, everything, and I, come up, I came up with the idea with the 48 volts that is going to be feeding now to the batteries here. So we're going to run it, we're taking advantage because since the system is a 45 to 90 volts so i'm running a 48 into this so it's going to be integrated uh hybrid system okay well this is the way i'm going to stop right now but i encourage you guys to stay tuned subscribe comment and thumbs up share the, the link to your friends and family and whosoever starting up a new system encourage them to watch uh, this channel well this is another uh, video again from tom's project right here in Woodbury, Minnesota. Stay tuned and God bless.